activation. I need energy. I'm going to eat candy first. Candy? Oh, right. It contains sugar which most living things need for energy. I'm just wondering, do microorganisms need sugar too, like yeast? Yes. It's better if we do an experiment to test whether microorganisms need sugar or food too. Let's go home. What do we need to prepare in this experiment? We will need two packs of 5 grams of dry yeast, two 20 milliliters lukewarm water, two beakers, a stirrer, and sugar. We now have all the materials. What do I need to do first, Paul? First, into separate beakers, dissolve 5 grams of dry yeast in 20 milliliters of lukewarm water. Stir until the yeast fully dissolves. I have fully dissolved the yeast in each beaker. What do I do next? Label each beaker, A and B. Here, they are now labeled. What's next? Dissolve a pinch of sugar in beaker B. Then let the mixture stand for 10 to 15 minutes and observe the changes that will take place. Which beaker shows significant changes? Explain the changes observed. What do you think caused the change? I will write down my answers first and show them to you later when we finish the experiment. In which beaker did the yeast get activated? Why? Here, Paul, please check if all my observations are correct. You're good, Zach. These observations are accurate. What did you learn today? Well, I learned that microorganisms need sugar or food too.